Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Today, let's talk about something really cool and kind of rare. Fire tornado. Fire tornadoes, or rather fire vortexes, are an incredible display of physics. Without convection, buoyancy, and fluid dynamics, they simply wouldn't exist. Though quite rare, they are a natural phenomenon, which is fascinating. Check out this clip from an Australian brush fire. The best we know, they tend to appear when a strong cold wind blows at the base of a fuel-heavy fire. The cool wind refuses to immediately mix with the heated flames and therefore must go around the base of the fire. This starts the process of spinning convection. The air heats, rises, and voila, you have a fire tornado. Luckily, there's a brilliant way we can make our own fire tornado without needing a brush fire. Here's how. Grab yourself a glass vase like this and using the right tools, cut off the base of the vase. Next, you'll want to make two cuts lengthwise to end up with two perfect halves of a cylinder. A Dremel and a diamond cutting disc I found worked best. Very important with these things though to keep them under running water. We have our two halves, so now the fun begins. Take rubbing alcohol and pour about an ounce of it into a non-burnable container. I found the bottom of a tea light works best. Next, go ahead and light it which actually is a lot harder than it seems. It doesn't want to light. And watch this. Take your two halves, place them around the flame, and nothing. But then, you offset them. And look what we have now. I believe we have ourselves a fire tornado. Those offset sides are what force the spinning convection we were talking about, which is so cool. How about an overhead view? This offset causes the airflow to come in at angles to the flame. That's important. The air feeds the burning fuel, which in turn becomes more buoyant, rising. This creates the exact same cycle of spinning convection you saw in that Aussie brush fire. If you use different fuel, you get different characteristics of flame. That's why we're outside right now. Ooh, that's what a kerosene flame looks like. That's wicked cool. Well, that's it for today's episode on fire tornadoes. Oh, oh wait, forgot about this guy. He's a big em. I'll do a half episode about that one later. Now, if you feel like you learned something pretty cool today and you enjoyed my video, it would be a huge favor if you could leave a comment, leave a like, uh, share the video with your friends. But an even bigger compliment is if you subscribe to my channel click that link down below. Now, if you'd like to see my last episode, which was artificial lightning production, click the box to your right. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on episode seven of Plasma Channel. You stay classy.